Hi everyone, welcome to this Munch UK Facebook Live platform. Munch UK was conceived by Ira Kaushik, joined by Ambika Kachudia, um, Vidya, Subalakshmi and Suhani. Um, it's a fantastic pl platform and the idea is to bring South Asian artists and audiences all over the world together to share their stories, performances, uh, and particularly in this time, um, in these time, challenging times, to feel connected. Um, I'm, uh, I just want to say um, a huge heartfelt gratitude to everybody. Um, I live a, a very wonderful, um, rich, joyful life. Um, and I won't be able to thank everybody for, because you, those of you who know me, if I start thanking, it will just be a, a, this will just be a thank you story. So just know that I feel a, a gratitude, a joy, love for each and every encounter and each and everything that I have had in my life so far. So um, my story starts um, in Kirki, Pune, where I was born. Um, to two really wonderful uh, young couple. Uh, my mother um, is a dancer, a singer, an artist, a painter. Uh, my father uh, traveled um, all over India as he was in the army. Um, um, uh, as he was in the army. Um, and my mother, as an artist, uh, traveled with him um, all across India. So I grew up uh, traveling. Uh, and I guess uh, the travel, the movement has stayed with me as a dancer. Um, uh, Amma uh, danced, sang um, every day in, the ho in, in, in our home. Um, and I don't ever remember uh, a distinction between almost like um, here you're doing your thing and here is art. It was very much part of our, our daily life. And because Amma was traveling and she was an artist, um, in the army, um, everybody wanted her to, um, you know, either create something or engage in a cultural activity, which she did. Mixed a lot of stuff. Um, uh, as I grew um, uh, in this kind of environment, uh, wherever I was traveling uh, with them, I picked up folk dances um, and worked and created stuff. And when we uh, went home. When we went home to the south, which is Chennai or Bangalore, um, people were really, very really eager to um, have my mother come because they knew that in the evening they would, um, we would have concerts, um, dance, music, storytelling with my cousins. Uh, you know, people just would bring instruments and, and play. And I think that um, I, I continue to live that kind of a life. And uh, whatever I do today um, is very much an extension of my mother. My father's um, love for poetry, for literature, he introduced me to Milton, to Chaucer, to Shakespeare, to K.M. Munshi, um, Jonathan Livingston Siegel, to Little Prince. Um, uh, you know, so it, it was a really rich and happy childhood. And from there, uh, going to um, my southern grandparents' home, my father's uh, parents, um, um, uh, who were alive, were the best uh, storytellers. So from uh, Karna uh, story to Mahabharata, Ramayana, and the Jack and the Beanstalk to folk uh, songs uh, were, uh, you know, the, um, the appetizer, the, the, you know, the big meal um, um, as arts uh, were had when I was there. And, um, and sure enough, my mother and I would dance and sing for them. And from there, um, uh, I moved to Kalakshetra. I want to say a few, um, before I moved to Kalakshetra, um, my science teachers, um, Shubha ma'am and Chitnis ma'am, I think I met them when I was nine or uh, 12, but I still remember them because they taught science in a very fun and creative way. I still love science. It's one of my favorite subjects. Um, and those of you who know me know how much I love um, science. Um, and two head teachers in Delhi and Jalandhar um, always uh, got us to do community service. And so I think that's also stayed 
with me, the joy of serving um, in anything I do. And from there, I moved to Kalakshetra. Um, and it was another, uh, a very rich, transformative uh, time um, when I got there. Um, Rukmini Devi, uh, as we all call her very fondly, Atte, she was still alive. Um, uh, and I won't tell you about the rigor of the training because you must have heard about it from everyone. But little details, so one of the stories that we were told constantly, something I remember, that Atte, even when she put the stamp, it was aligned. So the idea was not to become a, a, a phenomenal professional dancer, but to become a very sensitive human being, um, to appreciate details in everything. Um, to, again, uh, lots of teachers who have enriched my life at Kalakshetra, uh, my uh, very own teacher, Thomas Sir and Chinashada teacher, um, who were very particular about detail in, in terms of dance. And to other teachers, um, uh, Chandra auntie and Anandi teacher who um, did uh, orientation class um, which was, I don't know what it meant, but it was really about coming to this class and hearing lots of stories. And Chandra auntie was Italian and so she would tell us uh, Indian mythology and also European mythology and connect them. And, and the other thing that um, really influenced me was Shankamanan sir who was one of the founders members of Kalakshetra with Rukmini Devi. Every morning uh, um, during the prayer time under the you know beautiful banyan tree that you've all had heard of, he would uh, give us one verse from Gita every morning and again interconnect um, uh, English poems and um, other um, thoughts uh, to that particular verse and just remind us how to live our lives. But the one thing he would always say, the minute he came, he would sit down, he said, Oh, my dear, lovely idiots and geezers, uh, I'm not sure why I'm saying this to you. I only hope you learn something from this. I mean, he had his own manner. It's just uh, wonderful. Um, and even there, um, you know, we had to volunteer for everything, uh, which I did. I said yes to almost everything. Um, um, Artists uh, of all genres, dance, music, theatre, would continuously uh, come to Kalakshetra. So that, that there was another kind of, uh, it fed me, nourished me, um, to think of arts as something that was valuable, not necessarily even dance or Bharatanatya. Um, uh, just the joy of living uh, in that environment. Um, um, I want to mention uh, J.S. Rajan and Swagata. They started this uh, Students Cultural Forum when I was there and we used to put up um, uh, dance and cultural shows um, for everyone um, and also invite guest artists um, um, every month. Um, and my teachers were very encouraging um, about uh, you know all this uh, that we were doing. Um, again, during that, that period, one little story, uh, hopefully this is interesting. Um, when I came there in my first year, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, being inspired by all this, everything, all of this was happening and exciting. One of the things uh, I found in a few of my friends in the first year is that the toilets were very dirty. And, um, and the person who was cleaning them, he, he, you know, he was uh, in Kalakshetra from when he was little and, you know, he, nobody wanted to say anything to him basically. So what does Anusha do? I recruit a gang of friends and we clean the toilets because that's what was needed to be done. Um, so I think the sense that um, just be aware of what needs to be done, let's go and do it. Um, and you all know Vipul and it's somebody that um, uh, enriches my life on a day-to-day -day basis. And it's something that he continuously reminds me that just focus on the task, do the task, joyously happy and it stayed with me all the time um, so um, and from there I come to Delhi uh, I train and work with Leela Samson who um, you know further refines and develops uh, my both personal and professional and dance sensibility uh, it's also a time I meet Stella um, very 
um, it, you know, in a very uh, close and intimate environment. She was there for a year. Special art uh, uh, organization that was taking down um, arts um, to basically special needs school. Um, so um, my mother was working, and so I started working with her, um, uh, creating dance theater with poets, artists, and just <laughs> a conjure up on the kind of rich, rich um, arts world of India and particularly Delhi. And we were going to schools and rural villages. So I had this idea, you know, because dance um, uh, has touched me and continues to touch, move, and um, you know, give me so many gifts. Um, um, I thought, why not take this uh, to uh, elder, you know, the homes where, uh, you know, maybe grandparents live and um, there are uh, people with disability. So I asked my mother, some of my friends, they said, yeah, come to my house and dance. So we started, I started dancing uh, in people's homes uh, and particularly uh, very, you know, intimate, they might, you know, three people, um, grandmother, father, and, a, and a, maybe a maid in the house. And that's how my journey of taking dance outside of um, the stage um, kind of really um, took birth, I guess. And I started performing in hospitals um, um, with street children. Um, and I was very, um, I was connected with another friend, Tripura Kashyap, who um, um, is a very well-known dance therapist in India. And she had already trained in America and was doing all this amazing work. And she inspired me to think about taking uh, this uh, training on. Um, and so I decided to um, apply for scholarship. I was so lucky. I tell you, I'm one of the luckiest people you will meet. Um, my life just happens. It's very organic. I don't think so. I, I plan very much. In fact, I maybe don't plan anything at all. And things just happen. Everything is very serendipitous. So at that time, I got a, a German nuns who, uh, who were in Japan. They uh, funded me, British Council, uh, 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 thanks to Vivek Mansukhani, um, helped me get uh, the Shevening uh, Scholarship and Dr. P. N. Berry Scholarship, which is only given to therapists. Um, and at that time, I was not a therapist. Um, a dance artist, very keen to work um, in all these um, uh, fields. And also remember at that time, the, this community dance practice, inclusive practice, none of these words or um, these ideas didn't exist. So, um, you know, I was very much one of the very few artists um, uh, starting this journey uh, at a time when only performance and stage performance was was the norm. And people would say, say to me, my teachers, you, this is all very beautiful work you're doing but you're such a beautiful dancer, you're so gorgeous to look, why are you doing this? And, and they encouraged me, but occasionally also reminded me, uh, you know, these things. So I arrived in uh, uh, UK. Uh, I had already met friends um, because I did some workshop for Artikali for Jay Chandran in Kerala. Um, and I had met artists um, um, here who continue to uh, remain my friends. Um, so it, it felt, uh, Britain felt very familiar also, and because of my father's, uh, you know, um, great um, um, love for literature, you know, we've read a lot of English literature. Um, yeah, I mean, Britain and Monopoly, <laughs> you know, so Britain was very familiar. And um, so I came here, um, and here again, uh, I, I still remember I arrived at the University of Hertfordshire, um, 1994 September and the house warden my house warden Alistair uh, his partner Virginia Renshaw was the director of live music now and he heard me within a week and said come and audition for live music now because they uh, do similar work like you they take music to all these places um, uh, where access to music is not um, is not there so um, hospice, hospitals, psychiatric day centers, uh, rural theater, would you be interested? I said, of course. Again, I say yes to almost everything. Um, so um, I auditioned, they loved my work. And what it also did was, because it was live music, I was, I was the first dancer on the scheme. They said, we'd only invite you if you had musicians working with you. It was fantastic, because I 
and I don't know how to, I am not know how to dance, but the idea of not having live music for particularly um, classical work, it's something unthinkable even today for me. So it was a time that I um, connected with lots of musicians um, and I traveled um, all over UK um, meeting some extraordinary um, people. Um, and during this time, you know, um, you meet somebody and then something else happens. And I'm not sure exactly when, but I met two really remarkable people, Uzma Hamid and Rachel Harris. Um, and they wanted me to work on their various um, outreach community programs um, um, at Academy. They were working at Academy then. And I said yes. And I did a lot of work um, until uh, 1999. And in 90, I think end of 99 or early 2000, I started, um, I started um, my own company. Um, and um, Vipul reminded me that it's also thanks to Academy that I'm here, because uh, they did my work on it. Um, um, again, it was all organic. Uzma said, why don't you stay back? This, is, this work uh, will grow here um, and we re require you and I'm sure there are other uh, organizations uh, required. And Michelle um, uh, uh, was also working at Academy uh, then and Mira was very supportive and so a work permit happened. Um, uh, and then uh, Vipul came to UK as well, um, multimedia. Um, doing multimedia. So it kind of, everything kind of just happened organically and uh, I, I stayed on. Um, and then I connected with Sampar, with Dance Eats, Southeast Dance, um, and, and work just grew um, in many ways. So in 2000, uh, 2000, I started focusing on creating more work with Bija, but never left working with um, other artists and organization. I met with Chitra Leka Bowler at that time as well, and she was creating some really wonderful um, uh, neoclassical work. And so I uh, had the um, uh, pleasure and privilege to working with her. Um, and, um, and I also want to uh, then say that all of this um, experience of uh, the dance world, and because I was interested also in uh, body work. Um, I started uh, doing. Uh, sorry. Two minutes left. Four. Oh, okay. <laughs> I told the book to give me a cue. Um, so because I was also interested in body and uh, working inclusively, um, I started training in somatic work and Pilates and really um, uh, trying to articulate and understand uh, physically and experientially. What does it mean to dance? What does it, you know, if Natya Rambe is this, can Natya Rambe be a felt Natya Rambe? For somebody who might not have a limb, how would that be for them? And is it important? Um, uh, yeah, so all of these, um, you know, curiosities, questions, just meant that I was, I just played and, um, 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 uh, yeah, it, it just did everything that was offered. I must say, um, in 1999, I also met uh, uh, my very dear friend and mentor, uh, uh, who continues to be my friend and mentor, Anita, Anita Ratnam, who really introduced me um, uh, to Mark Taylor. I performed and worked uh, with Dance Alloy, uh, a fantastic dance company in America, um, uh, where Anita and Mark collaborated. I was introduced to Bhutto and therefore the somatic work. And Can you see everything, how it all links up? And so all of this information, um, uh, I arrived uh, at, um, I think, 2005 or six. I led um, three, I think, summer schools at the Formula Fest. And then there was this advertisement of this job, a subject leader for Yuvagati, which I applied. I auditioned, interviewed, and I, I got the job. I was the subject leader uh, for Bharatanatyam. Um, and it was a uh, it was a seminal year for uh, South Asian dance uh, as well um, because at that time you know this is part of the CAT program South Asian dance was taken into the fold of CAT 
and CAT is, uh, is Center for Advanced Dance Training, a professional dance training program for young people. Now, the contemporary courses uh, and the ballet uh, run across uh, UK in different regions. Um, the dancers meet every week, uh, once a week or twice a week uh, uh, for the whole length of the day. Whereas on the South Asian uh, strand, um, they met for 15 days across the year. Um, and I said to you, it was a seminal year because this was the first time that South Asian dance was part of this program. And, um, and I think this also happened at the time when you know, organizations like Academy and Samford, all the work and uh, advocacy they had done um, had come you know, to fruition. Uh, and a um, lot of the artists that you have met on Manchun, you will continue to meet all the pioneers, earlier pioneers, all that work, I think, landed this course. And here I was the subject leader. Um, so the challenge was how do I create and vision a training program that um, delivered um, uh, what these students and their, their tutors and parents um, deserved, uh, and also the breadth of the dance sector knowledge. Um, and so um, uh, my vision was to um, bring the, all the parents and the, um, the tutors of these stu the students on board because they are the most important, um, they are the guide and they also give so much of their energy um, um, to, you know, uh, to mold um, and to shape these dancers. Um, I was also very lucky, again, um, because I'd never had, um, A, I, I don't have the sense of I own a, you know, a student or something, and that's why I didn't have a, a regular school like a lot of the dance teachers um, have. Um, it meant I was very free. I was free um, not to own. And so I could enable uh, uh, the students, the tutors, and all the parents um, to feel empowered and have a sense of ownership of this uh, program. Uh, it was a, a success. Um, we had lots, uh, and the Bharatanatyam uh, strand grew in numbers and standard. Um, and. Um, I was also uh, then asked to become the director for two years on the, on the program. Um, so I led the Bharatanatyam and the Kathak uh, strand. And of course, all of this can only happen with the support and the help of a huge um, uh, team of people um, and their support uh, for the vision I had. Uh, and because of that, um, we were able to really deliver uh, a fantastic program. Um, so all of them, you know, but I'd like to uh, name them and thank them. Um, Piali Ray, Louise James, Anita Srivastava, Linda Saunders, the Dance Exchange team, and host of guest artists who came and uh, trained these uh, young people, um, plus a team of supporting teaching staff um, who I handpicked and nurtured um, during my time at Yuvagati. And like everything, um, Yuvagati came to an end. Um, I said goodbye um, joyously. And you know, this is the best thing about being a dancer. You turn and you change and you create and you reinvent. Uh, and it's, it's absolute fun. Again, this is a dance. Um, and so uh, Vipal and I, uh, we had moved from Finsbury Park to Croydon in 2014. And we had already started um, engaging with the community in Croydon um, and Croydon has been fantastic uh, for us, to us and I think we have been great for Croydon too. Um, so I think um, all this um, spontaneous, serendipitous ways and organic ways of working, both I and Virpul, the way we work and our love for people and places just meant you know, we went on a speed date here. Actually, another thing I really miss, and I have to say this, because Neera has asked me to um, say this, um, she has always called me the Yuvagati Jehovah's Witness, um, meaning that I worked with a missionary zeal on the program. And I think that's a zeal I somehow seem to have wherever I go. I just love what I do. 
So it's with that same Z, um, you know, in Croydon, engaging with people, connecting with people um, has been absolutely fantastic. Um, and there's something very special about Croydon. And the reason, you know, that I talk about the speed dating, um, you know, uh, was very possible because there was already a very thriving community, a community that was engaged in the arts and the community. And they were also very generous to us, you know, when we came here uh, and continue to be served. And as, as you all know, as, all, as you all know, um, Dr. and I, we curate the dance festival Croydon, we curate the dance stage um, for uh, Croydon Mela, and we do a host of things. Um, we also, I mean, it, it actually also started again very organically in 2016 when we uh, curated uh, two big dance um, um, in two different parks um, with my very dear friend uh, Josie Kitts. Uh, and um, uh, Big Dance, as you know, uh, that year Akram Khan had created this beautiful uh, three-minute dance piece. Uh, Ripple danced in it. Um, we had the largest contingent from Croydon um, 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 going to dance at Trafalgar Square. It was a fabulous um, experience, uh, you know, uh, bringing a community and dance um, together. Um, I think I should end now. Um, so before I end, before I end, I'd like to, um, I think I'll remember, I'd like to just uh, remember um, some collaborations because um, for me, um, you know, dance is ageless. Um, uh, Bishaka Sarkar, a very dear friend and mentor, I have worked with her. She's always there for me when I want to talk dance with her. Um, uh, as you know, a very generous soul. Um, it, it's she, it's a, she's a very exciting practitioner for me both to talk and work with and we've created some really exciting work. Um, Nilima uh, G, uh, a lovely Kathak dancer, um, last year I created a really fun piece with her, Plurality of Abhinaya. Um, so I continue to work uh, uh, you know, uh, with many practitioners. Um, last year I mentored and collaborated with Ashwini Kalsekar, Meera Vinay, Matangi, uh, and a host of other artists uh, on their various projects that uh, also enriches me uh, a, a lot. Um, and in Croydon, um, I run um, um, dance classes. So um, in 2018, um, I was also awarded the Nritya Acharya Award by Mela Fest. And I think it's because I continue to teach, um, perhaps not in, in the traditional Bharatanatyam dance class way only, um, but to a host of, of uh, wonderful uh, people in the community. I have a seated class, a carers group, a ladies group, um, and Gemma, my friend, runs the Parkinson's group, and occasionally I teach uh, for her and with her. Um, so I'll finish uh, there, and I'd like to just say, um, I'm going to put some music on, um, and I would like you all to get up and dance. Um, and this is just something, uh, you know, um, um, created for Croydon Mela, um, because life, uh, life is the only precious thing, and we probably all know this, and friendship and love and uh, humanity is the only thing. So this is a rowdy baby. So I just want you to remember that um, except life, everything is just um, you know transient. So let there be fun, joy, some silliness, and nonsense in in all our lives. And this is also a shout out uh, for Urja. Uh, Urja, uh, a fabulous dance artist. Um, a friend, choreographer, and she's also from her own, uh, in her own words, one of the best uh, person who knows B-grade music. So this is for all of us, Parvati, I, I, if you're there, Kali, um, and uh, Suraj, Ariana, um, my, all my friends, and I know my, uh, actually this is, I'm also doing this because my carers and my seated class, uh, 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 you know, uh, students and Indian women in, in Croydon, they all support me, they're all here, and I know they're going to be dancing. So let's uh, stand up. 
and we're gonna dance. And as Vipul is putting, I just want to again say a big thank you um, to Manchuke, Mira, Amita, Subhadakshmi, uh, Vidya, Sohani, and to everyone.